It's 1.45 in the morning and it's time to photograph more wildlife. Together with my friend Richard, we've planned a last minute adventure to photograph ospreys diving for fish in Rutland. What ISO are you shooting at? Uh, I'm 6400. It's more than it's now going to be consistent of all warm yellow. Look at that, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. I'm not the camera right now. No, okay. <laughs> the inbuilt microphone. Yeah. Because I don't even know if I'm in the shop. We're going to say that. Eh? Oh, wow. It's just going to look like you got four chins, though, when you do the. No, this is why I've got this. Oh, it's not. Out of my chins. Yeah. Tricks of the trade, right there. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> we just pulled up to Horn Mill. Yeah, horns yeah. mill, horn, yeah. horns mill, horn, horn. The trout place yeah. where there's birds, and it's very dark, and we're the first people here, and we're about forty-five minutes early. Yeah. So, but worth it. Worth it to be early. Yeah. I guess we'll wait. We did see a tawny. Well, I saw a tawny. Richard saw the back of a camera whilst he was trying to work out what button to push to film the tawny. He didn't film the tawny. So we'll pull the dash cam footage for that. <laughs> because the dash cam would have got it. Yeah, dash cam nailed it. Dash cam. Yeah. It probably did nail it, to be fair. Yeah. Unlike Richard, who couldn't film it. I got confused, so, you know, it bodes well for the rest of the day. Yeah. Yeah. In a moment of pure genius, I completely forgot to push save on the dash cam. So I'm afraid there's no tawny owl footage. But we've arrived at the farm now anyway. So time to sit down get set and wait. <laughs> As time went by and the fish kept jumping, we traded stories with the other photographers in the hide about how we'd tried to capture the pictures of the fish and not managed to. But then last year I managed to capture this photo of a fish jumping in front of an egret. I'm not sure how, but it ended up being the best photo I took on the day. We waited and waited. As the sun began to rise, the light got a bit better, and we began to hope that the osprey would make an appearance. And that it did. But it was still pretty early and the light wasn't great. It didn't stop us trying. When osprey hunt, they land on this perch and they move their head side to side, judging the distance and searching for fish. It's definitely my favorite behavior to observe. Then the first dive. It's all over in a matter of seconds, so I've slowed the second dive down so you can see. This is male T7 grabbing a fish and taking back off again. We were lucky this time in that he did a complete circle of the pond and flew directly at the hide. Unfortunately, the light wasn't great. It was, it was still pretty early, so it's very grainy, but I still like it. After that, it all seemed to be quiet for a while. But the waiting was short-lived. Although it wasn't an osprey, we all got very excited for this little visitor. And then after this visit, we got more. It was really cool to see all the different species visiting the pond and to be able to get this close to an animal that's usually quite timid was a really cool experience. 
At one point, we counted five separate individual herons circling the pond and picking out fish, though only a couple were successful. Perhaps the most accommodating visitor to the pond that day was this red kite. It sat in this exact spot for at least 20 minutes, allowing us all the opportunity to get the perfect portrait as it sat and just observed. In the area where I live, red kites are quite a common occurrence, but it still doesn't take away from how magnificent they are. I still love watching them. My favourite shot of the day is definitely this one. If ever there was a bird more deserving of a colourful name, it's the grey wagtail. With that, our time in the hide was over. We decided it would be a really cool idea to head over to Rutland to see the nest and finish the story. And I'm really glad I did, because it was so cool to see the fish being fed to the chicks. Though I didn't get the perfect shot that I wanted, I still really enjoyed the trip. If you're heading that way, it's definitely worth a visit. Thanks for watching.